Hello friends. Today I'll be demonstrating how to enable VS Code's debugger for a Create React app application. But first I'd like to thank some of our new subscribers. So thank you to Gilbert, Peter, 100 Eyes, Rahul, as well as Mikkel. It's your support that helps a small channel like this. And I just wanted to say, I really do appreciate you subscribing. So thanks to each and every one of you. Okay, let's start by creating our first CRA project. So I'm gonna call uh, NPX Create React App, and then I'm gonna name uh, my app just my app. One eternity later. Okay, that took a while. Um, so I'm going to uh, do what they suggest in the console. I'm gonna say CD my app. Before I do NPM start, I'm gonna reload VS Code into that directory. And now I'm gonna type npm start to start the application. And there we go, it looks like our React application is loading properly. So now we just have to enable the debugger. So I'm gonna head back into the terminal here and I wanna keep this server running the entire time. So I'm gonna click the X, which is just going to hide the panel, but the server is still gonna be running in the background. I'm gonna open up my file explorer and navigate into uh, my source directory and app.js and what I want to do once I'm in app.js is just set a breakpoint. I'm going to set it on uh, line 6 just because if I'm rendering the app I should be able to get to line 6 to see if that breakpoint will actually be hit. So now I'm going to open my browser again and I'm just going to hit refresh on this. What I was actually hoping is that my breakpoint was going to hit on line 6 and it looks like it didn't. Even though I have a breakpoint set on line six, VS Code's debugger isn't set up yet. So let's go ahead and set that up now. So head up to the top of your screen where the menu bar is, select run, and then add configuration. What you'll wanna select here is the Chrome configuration. This should provide most of the defaults for you. Uh, one thing you will have to change is this web root. Because the web root we're working in is in the source directory, just add slash source after this. And you will also have to change the port. I think we're running on port 3000. Once you've made that change, go ahead and hit save and close the launch.json file. You can access launch.json again by opening up your file menu, going into the VS Code directory, and you'll see launch.json right here. Next, just start the debugger. You can do that by going up to the menu bar, selecting run and start debugger. Or you can just press F5, which is the hotkey to start the debugger. That's gonna launch a special debugger instance of Chrome. And if you noticed, Chrome popped up really quickly and then the focus immediately changed to VS Code where my breakpoint does look like it's hit. You can tell by the little arrow in the highlighted line. And now that the debugger's paused, I can press play to resume the app. And I can see in Chrome, the application's running. If I were to press reload, it'll then trigger the debugger again, and I'll break again on line six. So just to recap what we did, we installed a fresh CRA application, we added a debug configuration, and then we ran the debugger. And now your app is ready to debug inside of VS Code. So thanks for spending your time with me, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. And a little reminder when subscribing, if you don't click the bell icon, you won't be notified of all new videos that are coming out. That's just the way the YouTube algorithm works.